Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is March 31st, 2016, and I am Skyla Laporis. In campus news, from the Texan News Service, Tarleton professor Dr. Joanna Shaw has made the decision to leave her department, leave her role as department head, and take her career back to the classroom. When originally offered the position as department head of Management College of Business Administration, Dr. Shaw said she was thrilled to take the job, but she eventually found two drawbacks. She misses teaching full time and wants to spend more time with her twin daughters. Having been department head for 17 months, Dr. Shaw feels that she will now be, ab be better able to contribute to the teacher student atmosphere and participate as a better faculty member. Dr. Shaw's last day as department head is May 31st. In regional news from the Empire Tribune, Stephenville High School Theater Department will be hosting a fundraising 5K with the zombie theme. The race will take place on April 16th at 6 p.m. at the City Park. Be sure to register by April 1st to reserve yourself a t-shirt. Pre-registration is $25, but you can also register the day of the race for just $5 more. This race will get your heart pumping by more than just running. Along the 5K trail, students dressed as zombies will be hiding waiting to scare the runners. Proceeds from the race will benefit Stephenville High School's theater department and the Behind the Spotlight Scholarship Drive. Registration packets for those who pre-registered can be picked up Friday, April 15th, between 2 and 6 p.m. at the high school four-year. Be sure to register to lay your inner walking dead out. And now, today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. In Texas news, a woman from Janesville, Wisconsin, was charged with crossing state lines to engage in criminal sexual activity with a 14-year-old boy from Texas. 34-year-old Jennifer Lynn Daughtry pled guilty to meeting this boy through online gaming and taking him to Wisconsin for sex. She was sentenced to prison by federal judge yes yesterday in Dallas. The boy was reported missing on September 12th. When Daughtry arrived in Dallas, she and the boy went to a hotel to engage in sexual intercourse. They then flew to Wisconsin to continue the sexual activity before returning to Texas four days later. The officers retrieved the boy and Daughtry was arrested at Dallas Love Field. She will now face 10 years in prison. In national news, Maine is the first state in New England to offer dying patients the right to use experimental drugs. On Wednesday, Republican Governor Paul LePage signed legislation that allows terminally ill patients to use treatments that have yet to receive approval by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The bill specifies that drug companies and doctors will not be held liable for any harm and the new law does not require insurance companies to pay for the treatments. The patients who are expected to live less than six months will have access to these treatments. Maine joins 24 states that have comparable laws. The bill will go into effect 90 days after the Maine legislature adjourns for the year. In international news, Colombia and the National Liberation Army, the country's second largest rebel group, have announced that they will be holding conferences in an effort to come to peace with one another. The country hopes to begin to bring an end to the politically driven violence that has been going on for over half a century. The civil war in Colombia has resulted in about 200,000 deaths. The guerrilla commander says they're ready to seek solutions to Colombia's problems. Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos said that if they can make peace, then it will be the end of guerrilla fighters in Colombia and inevitably in Latin America. And now for more national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Donald Trump's presidential campaign is backtracking on his statement that women who have abortions should face some sort of punishment. Republicans and Democrats alike vehemently disagreed with the statement. Severe weather and multiple tornadoes injured at least seven people in northeastern Oklahoma. The Tulsa Fire Department says one home was destroyed and other homes and businesses were damaged in that city. Demonstrators marched in Minneapolis after a prosecutor cleared two white police officers in the shooting death of a black man. The prosecutor concluded Jamar Clark was not handcuffed and was struggling for one officer's gun when he was shot last November. And Russian planes delivered aid to a Syrian city that's under siege from Islamic State militants. Some 200,000 civilians are trapped in the government-held area. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press, with AP News Minute. Today's forecast is brought to you by the National Weather Service. Today's high is near 73 with northwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight will be partly cloudy with the low around 46. North, northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming northeast after midnight. Today's broadcast was produced by Victoria Torrent, 
Heather Brown, and Latricia Powell. You can follow us at www.texannews.net. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and become a fan of Texan TV News on Facebook. I am Skyla LaPorse. Tune in Friday for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.